to my surprise, I looked back on my channel and discovered this little bird here. This is the Vizio XS809. Mine was a W model or something like that. This uh, quadcopter has become the most popular and most viewed video on my channel with over 250,000 views that's over a quarter million views <laughs> of this quadcopter and uh, for me and the likes of me I, I couldn't understand why so uh, I pulled it back up I went back to watch this video and and noticed that I actually I, I had a ball flying this little toy gray quadcopter. Remember my original version did not have the altitude hold mode. This was one of the first to roll off the assembly line but it was a very very fun to fly quadcopter. The original version I have here guys has now been deviated and I can fly it with my transmitter. Today we're going to take a look at the new upgraded version. This one has altitude hold and the uh, sticks are spring loaded so uh, this one you're not able to fly with your jumper uh, it has a whole different protocol inside guys <laughs> I went back to review my old video of the original version and uh, this bird actually performed pretty well with this transmitter they're basically exactly the same bird the canopy's been changed out a little bit it uh, now has tiger teeth in the front, so this one's being labeled as a battle shark. There are some subtle differences in my original version and this new version. My initial review <laughs> of this original version, uh, there was some confusion on how to start and stop the video uh, because these are both uh, Wi-Fi apps capable you can fly them with your phone or you can fly them with your transmitter here's my finding with this new upgraded version guys if you have a SD card in the uh, onboard DVR to record videos you have to press the uh, the record button here's the difference uh, my new upgraded version uh, have these <laughs> buttons blanked out my original version had camera and uh, video buttons marked but they didn't work with this quad thanks to watching the gadget gadget inspector video uh, his version of the battle shark has the buttons marked mine are not marked but they do work so <laughs> uh, I watched his video and discovered that if I press that button it will take a picture and by pressing that button I can start and stop my video all the other buttons are marked so I like this controller game style controller but size for uh, adult hands but I wasn't a big fan of the flying it with the thumbs guys I won't sit here and talk a lot about it guys what we're gonna do is take it out and fly it and test the big selling point on this one is remember this bad boy got around nine or ten minutes of flight time and this one's supposed to have doubled that with 18 minutes of flight time uh, the new upgraded version cannot use the old battery and this transmitter won't bind they, they can't exchange transmitters this one has been deviated you can see I have the velcro strip on the top where I put on a TX03 add a little battery uh, one cell battery to the back of that and I've been having a ball with this thing flying it with the jumper <laughs> uh, look for that video to come soon guys let's take the battle shark out to the field and give it a fly Pow okay guys we're gonna uh, attempt to take the battle shark out for a quick test flight and we're gonna time it to see if we're getting anywhere close to that uh, 18 minutes promised with this quad. I had one, a, a previous issue with this bird at the desk where uh, I, I was testing the video features. I tested uh, uh, 
recordings on the app. If you have an SD card inserted, then you must use the remote control. The app won't start recording on board. And if you don't have an SD card in there, it will record on the, on your phone. When I did my test at the uh, on the bench, uh, when I went to take that SD card out, the whole SD card reader went inside the car with my SD card in it. So needless to say, I had to take it apart already. I did put the SD card reader back into his what felt like normal position, but now I'm not trusting that bird anymore because uh, I'm not trusting it with an SD card anymore. I don't want to have to take it apart again. Okay guys, I'm going to shut it down. Turn off the controller. I'm going to try uh, my universal <laughs> Wi-Fi UFO app that uh, pretty much connects to all your little 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi toy claws. And the Wi-Fi UFO app won't give me a signal either. The Wi-Fi UFO app is pretty universal. Every toy quad I have that has 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, it will connect to it. Now all of the uh, controls may, may not work properly. Okay guys, I'm not gonna dick around with it too long. I think we spent about five minutes of those 18 minutes trying to uh, get it to connect. Uh, Mine did work at home, so we'll try it again when I get back home. I'll go ahead and sacrifice <laughs> one of my smallest, cheapest uh, SD cards and stick in there and try it again, guys. Okay, we're going to do a flight time test. Let's do an automatic takeoff. The wind decided to pick up. It's coming right in our face at, right as we took off. Now the uh, the biggest upgrade to this one versus uh, I'm gonna put it in a higher speed, guys. She's in a second speed now. Uh, supposedly is the flight time the biggest seller and feature with this bird. Basically, <laughs> altitude hold works fine. Uh, I went to the third speed there. Uh, the sticks and controls, a little twitchy for me over the OG original. Uh, my original didn't have altitude hold. So uh, that's to be expected with these wild ass barometers and flight controllers making over commands. Uh, I like flying manually guys, so I'm a little prejudiced here. But here you can see every little stick movement. So if precision is you want, if what you want is fine, she yaws around really fast. I'll go back to the low speed, and the yaw speed is still pretty fast, but the pitch angle changed a lot. I'm not flying too far out, guys. That field looks nice and green and pretty today, but it is soaking wet out there. Let's go back to the second speed. Hey, the wind stopped for a minute there. I didn't do a gyro calibration, but she's holding uh, altitude pretty well in position with no wind. She's got a little jerky, twerky movements to it, but not a bad flyer. This would be nice for a kid or teen or grown-up kid like you and me. <laughs> when you just want something to kick around and fly in between flights, like right now I'm a... Uh, charging up some batteries over there. I would say a parking lot flyer or your front yard flyer. It only has about uh, 80 meters promise range on it. I really, really wanted to test that, uh, that FPV 
lately I've been going back and playing with some of my older toy quads and uh, I'm finding some of that 2.4 gigahertz FPV gives me better range than this new 5G shit they got out there. <laughs> Do your altitude whole thing, girl. <laughs> but not by that building, the wind's blowing her. It's not that windy, it's only about a five, six mile per hour wind out here. But I suppose she could be a good selfie bird. She she's got a she's got super strong gyros. When you let go of the sticks, it will level itself out, guys. That's where that jerky <laughs> that's where that jerky twerky stuff is coming from. So she's got pretty super sensitive gyros. Working together with the barometer. Uh, It flies good when you're giving it a straight, a straight stick command like that. That was full pitch ahead, and uh, she held her altitude very well on that. <laughs> so I keep talking and trying to find more shit to talk about. <laughs> she might get, just give us that 18 minutes. We lost three or four minutes uh, dicking around with the app. I uh, probably screwed that thing up guys, uh, I'm blaming this one on myself, but it was a cheesy <laughs> connection for uh, the SD card, uh, it's spring loaded so when I popped mine in it went in fine, I did some sample videos and a couple test pictures at the house, I, I had to test which buttons to press to make sure uh, I was shooting a video if you get one like this just keep in mind guys uh, if you have an SD card in it you must use the buttons on the transmitter to start and stop the video and to take pictures if you don't have an SD card in it you must use the app to start and stop your video and take pictures one won't trigger the other. Uh, you can press, if you don't have an SD card in there, you can press record on the uh, remote controller and it may even flash and show you, or I think the lights on the quad is going to start flashing <laughs> to uh, indicate that you're recording, but you, you're going to get nothing. <laughs> you're going to get zipped. Guys, she do have a, she, she, let me say this properly, she does have a very long flight time. That is fantastic. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I was just flying around the second speed. She's pretty zippy in the second speed. Now in the third speed, she get a little jerky twerky. <laughs> but as long as you're flying it straight out and not making any jerky twerky moves <laughs> flies really good she's fast in the third speed <laughs> she's a little clumsy in the third speed but and some of that is me too uh, guys uh, the controller has these thumb pads and I'm a stick flyer ooh if I had some sticks on her <laughs> Ooh, if I had some sticks, uh, I think it would be fine. Uh, I'm the jerky torquey one. Uh, these thumb pads are really clumsy for me. Let's test the flip. Okay, sookie, sookie now. Guys, that is a long flight time for a toy quad. Flip it again. And she holds her altitude after doing the flip. <laughs> Those flips will take some uh, seconds off of your flight time, guys. So, I'm gonna take it up a little higher. Do one last flip, forward flip, and pow. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. I'm not heavy on being a uh, videographer with a toy bird, but. Uh, 
Visual put a pretty nice uh, 2 megapixel camera in there. I think I got the 2 megapixel camera. I don't know. This is a review model sent to me from uh, geekbuying.com, guys. If you look at the uh, outside of the box, this bird comes in like five or six different models. <laughs> and the box wasn't checked. There was no check mark in the uh, model number for mine. So I really don't know what I got in this bird. But damn, she flying a long time. It's getting hot out here. I had a cold one under that, right under that pavilion. The cold one ain't gonna be cold no more. I don't know what happened to, uh, with the video here, guys, uh, or my app or the phone. Like I said, I had an issue where uh, my SD card reader uh, went. <laughs> when I was trying to take the SD card out from the, uh, the bench test, the, the uh, whole reader went inside the quad. And I had a nice SD card in there, so of course I had to open it up. <laughs> I'm going in, I'm getting the SD card was worth more than the quad. <laughs> this is unbelievable though. Now I'm talking flight time. And ooh wee, the uh <laughs> Visual was smart with this one guys. They made sure this battery won't fit into the older models. So you can't buy this battery. Let's go check this to make sure our timer's still working. I can see from here we're over 10 minutes. Approaching 11 minutes. Oh, like I said, Visual was pretty smart with this one. Uh, that battery won't fit into the old G original. The OG original could also be flown with your jumper. Speaking of, uh, I brought the other one out here. <laughs> I got the uh, the OG original here with a, a, a AIO on top of it, and that one don't have altitude hold or or none of that fancy smancy stuff. But it also has a way, a shorter flight time than this one. But it had pretty long flight time too, like about nine minutes. They doubled the time, they doubled the size of the battery. And it could almost fit. You might have to get in there and do some carbon. It's only slightly bigger than the old battery. <laughs> wow. I get to talk 18 minutes and uh, hope you guys don't get bored. We won't have any uh, flight footage at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of sucks. Now I brought the original with me, but I intentionally didn't put an SD card in there. But I'm gonna fly it, and uh, I guess I could record the uh, FPV video from the TXO3, and we'll use that as flight footage to close out this video. But guys, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with this quad. Uh, my little personal issues uh, is basically these thumb pads. <laughs> I can't fly with this. I can't fly with this. Uh, for me to fly thumbs, I have to use the, the the joint, not the tip of my thumbs. I have to put my thumbs up like this. <laughs> so when I push forward, my fingers are hitting the screen of the phone. Man, this thing flies a long time, and she can hold. Sometimes she holds position. If they had put optical flow on this thing, it would be the bomb. But that ain't too bad. In fact, guys, uh, I've seen video. And in fact, I'll shout him out. RC Escape. <laughs> Mr. That is Fantastic. He did a, uh, uh, a video where he flew one of these out over a thousand meters uh, with using the little $10 Wi-Fi repeaters. I haven't gotten into the repeater thing yet guys and uh, of course when I'm reviewing a quad brand new from the stores we have to review it like it came out of the box. No modifications etc until after the review is over. 
with me guys sometimes the review is never over <laughs> if I keep a bird well if I like it I'm gonna do two or three videos right off the bat on it and then that second or third video I will start making modifications on it uh, <laughs> But I, I have birds that I, I, I like to re-review them or sometimes I just get so busy I don't have time to do the follow-up on it. And if I'm doing a re-review on a bird that barely made it through the first review, then you, you'll see it again fully stocked with no modifications on it. So... <laughs> I do appreciate when you guys write me, hey, so for just change the props on it, or you know, do this, take that camera off and push. You know, I'm gonna do it sooner or later. But when I first get the bird, I have to review it like it came from the factory. Damn, this thing is flying a long time. <laughs> so, Vizio, uh, they they fulfilled the promise with that one, guys, and it's just as much fun to fly as the original. And you guys know, when it comes to uh, teeny weeny tiny brush motors like this one has, and toy cars, 18 minutes of flight time with one battery? What? <laughs> yeah, boy, I could see me with this a year ago, or two, two or three years ago, when toy cars was the bomb. I still like my toy cars. Okay, two things I'm gonna regret today, guys, is uh, not being able to shoot onboard video as I face the bird as if we're on camera. <laughs> uh, and not being able to give it a decent range test to see how far, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi and control range would take us uh, without using the Wi-Fi repeaters, guys, okay? I'm aware of the repeater thing going on. And sometimes guys make it sound so simple. Like, just put a Wi-Fi repeater on it. It only costs $10. I'm like, yeah, but they, like a $45, $55 power pack for a, <laughs> to power the receipt, uh, repeater. And who wants to be adding all, all that extra special stuff to a, a $35 quadcopter? <laughs> But it's cool. Uh, I I wouldn't want to send this thing out a thousand meters. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a great front yard flyer, a parking lot flyer. She's in LVC now, guys. And let's see if she gives us enough time to come back home and land safely without falling out of the sky like a lot of... She put herself down on that one. Like a lot of other toy quads do. That's excellent. Let's go check that timer. Woo! Over 18 minutes. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All I gotta say is, wow. What? What? Hold on. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So they got that right, guys. Uh, apologize, we couldn't get any video, any onboard video. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, the app for this bird in my tablet. Uh, I don't think it would have worked anyway. I tried a couple of apps. I tried the uh, the factory app and I tried the Wi-Fi UFO app. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, Vizu XS809WS Battle Shark <laughs> or something like that. Over 18 minutes of flight time, guys. Pow! I'm out of here.